crafts. Man's conquest of space began on 4th October 1957 when USSR launched Sputnik 1. The first artificial satellite to circle the Earth. It was about the size of a large beach ball. In November 1957, Sputnik 2 had a real live companion. The dog, Laika. A Soviet cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, was the first man to go into space. He orbited the Earth on 12th April 1961. A few weeks later, Americans sent their first astronaut, Alan Shepard, into space for just 15 minutes. Eight years later, space travel had improved so much that man was standing on the moon. On 20th July 1969, US astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first man to step on the moon. A little while later, astronauts Edwin E. Aldrin Jr. and Collins joined him. Now, astronauts live in space for longer periods and have conducted several useful experiments. In 1963, Russian cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova was the first woman to visit space. Early spacecrafts such as Vostok and Apollo were launched into space by huge rockets. Only the tiny capsule containing the crew came back. Space Shuttle In the 1960s and 70s, space travel was extremely expensive because spacecrafts could only be used once. Then, in 1981, a new kind of spacecraft took to the sky. This vehicle took off like a rocket and landed like an aeroplane. This was a reusable manned spacecraft called Space Shuttle. These rockets work in the same way as firework rockets, burning fuel to force hot gases out at the back, thus pushing the rocket forward. Most space shuttles have two or three stages which are separate rockets stacked one on top of another. Rockets burn fuel very quickly to produce their power. Almost two million litres of fuel are burned in the first two and a half minutes of flight. Space shuttles need a speed of over 40,000 kilometers per hour to escape the Earth's gravity and enter space. The space shuttle takes off using rocket boosters and a huge fuel tank. While the rockets fall to the Earth by parachutes, When the fuel has been used up, the empty fuel tank separates from the shuttle. The shuttle has its own jets to use in space. Once in orbit, the space shuttle opens up to release or retrieve a satellite. When the space shuttle returns to the Earth, it lands on a giant runway at a speed of 
320 kilometers per hour.